Uh, this is your host, Steve from the back, coming at you again. Um, so, you know, in, in, in all seriousness, you know, I know this channel is, is, uh, deals in the fringe, the cringe, the occult, and the kink. And I just lump paranormal with the occult. I, I lump that into one one box, so I don't really have to say paranormal and occult because, you know, me being a Satanist may technically be a cult in a way, but then also the paranormal does have to do, in my opinion, with the occult, and the paranormal has to do with uh extraterrestrial, whether that's energies, or whether these are physical beings, or, or physical manifestation, or whatever type of manifestation um, that would be. In my opinion, I just see it as it's all lumped into one sum, because all it really is, is it's, it's, it's a, a science that we don't know about so much. That's the only way I could look at it. So, I just have to lump that in all together. So, you know, one one thing with, with all that being said, which I have to actually say, and shame on me, you know, we have to, we have to own up to our own faults, and, you know, someone may say, oh, so, if you watch, you know, if you believe in alien disclosure, like, you, you, you're pro-alien disclosure, like, you, you believe in these things for, for various reasons, um, and you're, you're pro the disclosure movement, that's a peace movement, and you have to understand, Steve, that you are satanic, and you are also hateful, and you are also technically bigoted, amongst other things, so, technically, you really need to clean up your act because, you know, from from a, from a enlightened, more advanced uh, being's perspective, like an extraterrestrial, you're a corrupted being, Steve. And they probably wouldn't want anything to do with you because you are part of this world's problem because you're just too hateful. You're too violent. You you you're still stuck on like violence. You know what I mean? And trying to solve things. You want to solve things with violence, and you want to do things by force. If it weren't for, you know, X, Y, Z law and whatever, you you want to be that guy because you just because you just are hateful and you're a hurt person. So hurt people, hurt people. You know, you're you're all still stuck. You haven't moved on past it. You 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 you, st you still feel as if the road to accomplishing things you want. You are willing to do what you need to do, whether it's bad or good, which, which is, and that's not good, right? So, so I'll own that because that's the show. okay. I'll, I'll take that. But this is not about this. This rant is about. See, I look at it like this. I'm saying all this just to say, to 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 make make it clear. So 
I, I believe in, in, in the alien disclosure thing, and I, I push that agenda, and I share those type of videos, because, in my opinion, it's a, it is a good thing, and it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm even <laughs> close, cl anywhere close to where I need to be, to even be like a real part of that movement, part of that movement. Okay, so I'll admit that, and I'm okay with that for now. Um, but I do, but I do uh, push, push that. So if someone's like, why are you sharing these Greer videos? Why are you, you know, why? Like, you know, just, just why, Steve? It does not mix. Um, okay, that's fair. But, uh, so, you know, the, the, what I really want to talk about on this video is, so, I see... I seen this uh, this alien video. He's talking about this. I forgot what it's called. I can't even get the name right. I'm sorry. It was an alien that was found in a desert. It was a, 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 a corpse, a small, very tiny little corpse of this thing, um, which could fit in someone's hand. You know, which makes sense. You know, it's it's, it's an alien, obviously. So. Um, but so what I did was I, not being a good artist, but at least being an artist, what I did was I took a picture of this alien, uh, this alien's corpse, and I drew over, which I may show in this video. Um, I may show it if I could find the file, if I could, <laughs> could find it. Um, I decided to, with my small, limited artistic skills draw over that picture and try to envision what I think this thing could possibly not 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 completely obviously but it, not an idea of what I think something like that would actually look like you know what I mean with with all of its flesh on it and all of its skin and like not basically a dried up mummy but what it may actually look like and when the interesting thing about what I came up with when I looked at it, and I decided to make it green. Someone would say, oh, that's so cliche. Why would you make it green? I, I just, I don't know. I just felt like making it green because I felt like um, maybe it's a bias because I like reptiles. So I decided, eh, maybe make it green. But I just figured, you know, it just, I felt like if I made it green, it would just, it would stand out more plus... Plus, people are used to seeing that anyway, so people would, it wouldn't be like, oh, there's no way it could look like, what do you think I'm going to give it? Negro brown skin like myself or something? Or did you think I was going to give it a, like a Caucasian flesh color? No, I, I, I wanted it to look more like an alien, even though it already looks like an alien. Okay, so, um, that's just how I look at that. So... I may show this on the screen, or I may not show it on the screen. I, I'm not sure. But, um, I thought it was really interesting, you know, this, this uh, creature. And it's very interesting, in my opinion, the, the concept of beings that are so small, you know, like, as small as, like, this can. Or, or bigger or smaller, even if it's like a, a juvenile or something, it's just very interesting to me. Like it's it's actually fascinating, in my opinion. It's 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 fascinating because you know, and I'm this rant's not going to be long. Uh, this is going to be a short rant. But why it's so fascinating to me is because it's just amazing. You know, it's amazing that like. I truly believe these things exist, okay, and I have reasons, I'm not going to go into it on this video yet, maybe it'll be for a video in the future, but I, I believe these things are real, like, I would almost say, I feel like I almost could say that I maybe know that these things are real, not necessarily that creature in particular, but I know that, like, extraterrestrials are real, 100% are real, they're not, it's, it's not a, a hoax, they're not fake, it's not, you know, just like, I'm real, they are just as real, so, but why it fascinates me, like, so much is, it's just, it's just, it just feels insane, you know, it feels insane to know that there's something, or things that are 
intelligent, so close to a person, yet not, and can be so strange, like could be bigger than a person, like a lot bigger, you know, like huge, you know, something could be huge, like could be 12 feet, 13, 14 feet, but big, bigger. Um, and then a creature could be like, like I said, as small as this, this can, <laughs> you know, and it's, it's just so mind boggling because like I said before in other rants, it's like, you know, the stuff that we do in this civilization from day to day, most pe people don't think about this. We don't really, you don't just stop and think like, wait a second. Um... Like, you know, you think you've seen everything. It's like you think you've seen everything because you maybe have pets, maybe you have uh, family members. Um, and then you, if you know that it's like a person like myself, you know, this, you know, this is real. So it's just a weird feeling when you stop to think that there's so much other things that go on. Like you have to think like your perspective or your like, even us as a civilization, you, you really realize, like, we're just, like, a small percentage of so many other things that are, like, races, civilizations, all of that. Um, so it's, like, really, it's just, it's just crazy, really, to think, because it, it's, it's almost like, um... I don't really know how to describe how that feels. It's just, it's just strange. Like, it's just very strange. And it's so, it's strange because you think, like, in your lifetime, you may actually never personally see one of these things, ever. You know, like, the, 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 the chance is very slim that you will even see. So it's, it's so slim. But then to know that this exists, like, things like that exist. You know, um, and I will admit this. I am going to admit this, um. Me being as a bad person, <laughs> as a bad person as I actually am, I will admit that I'm human enough to have a lot of guilt just knowing these things exist. It's because the reason why I say it is this: I say that because I look at myself as it just shows how incredibly selfish, unstable, and violent of a person that I actually am. That's what that's what it's really showing. It just shows me like. Whatever reasons I may have to justify with things I may uh, have done or be plotting or um, like just just my state of mind, like what decisions I'm, I'm making and what I'm willing to do or whatever, um, it just it's it's sad. Like it's it's actually pitiful when I think of it because I'm thinking like some of these beings, you know. Uh, wouldn't wouldn't literally would not hurt a fly you know what i mean uh some of these beings um probably in their entire lifetime never truly did a really bad actual thing in their entire lifetime <laughs> you know what i mean like which you can't say like and that's what i mean about it it's such a higher level like it's a totally different level of just everything like consciousness everything that you're dealing with with some of these type of things that, uh, it's almost like you feel, I almost feel inferior in a way, like, like not inferior in like a, a, um, what's the word, um, uh, what's the word I'm trying to look for? Not inferior in a, um, I can't think of the, the word, uh, oh, crap, not like in a jealous way, like not in a way like I'm looking at it like, okay, I'm envious of this being, that this being is able to, however, I don't know how, but however this thing can be as pure as it is, or as um, innocent in a way as it is, or as, like, evolved, or whatever, or enlightened, or, or peaceful, or whatever it is that it is, and I know that, like, <laughs> my sheer temper, and temperament, and aggression, is, 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 like, worlds the opposite of that it does make me feel somewhat not even somewhat a lot very in inferior and very shameful you know what i mean like it makes me feel shameful 
that like I can't really say if I was in a different world even or if I had everything I wanted like I had like you know the money a uh, wife um friends uh in a in a situation to where you know I had means to do whatever I wanted at any given time like I can't even I don't know if I can honestly say that I would be so much of a better person you know, like if I, if I had all that like saying that like you know I would be able to uh not be so uh what's the word corrupted in in a demented if I if I had XYZ now in my mind I like to think that I could I like to think that like I like to, I like to think like oh you know um if I was happy and I had had everything I wanted then I could just completely drop uh the demonic selfish methods and sides and in temperaments of myself that you know are, 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 are terribly corrupted like it's like if you have light and then you have dark if i was on one side yeah you you you'd see me like way way very much over on the spectrum of, of dark of darkness um in, e in evil so it's a it's just mind-blowing you know what I mean? Like, it's literally like, uh, I don't have at that much of a conscience when it comes to people, but when it comes to something like that, I feel, I don't know, it's just, it's like, it compels me to, like, not saying that I'm going to change what I'm doing, because, it, like I said, life is too short, and I'm not, I'm not changing what I'm doing, um, I'm not. Do you know what I mean? I may change small things here and there. Uh, but inevitably, I've made the decision of who I am and, and, and accept what I'm willing to do to try to get things I want. Like, it's, it's just that simple. But I will also say that... Um, there is a line, in, and I will also say now, when it comes into when it comes into uh, business of like said said beings like that that people don't even believe in you, know, like uh, extraterrestrials and, and, and cryptids and things of that sort. You know, there there is a, a a line of peace that I will not pass. Like I will not I will not pass it. <laughs> That's I'll just be honest. I am I will not. I will not pass a certain line. You know what I mean? Like, I, there, there's certain, there are certain lines I just will never cross. And then I also have to say that uh, I'm trying to think how I can how I can word this um, that it would make sense. The, what I'm what I'm really trying to say is I'm trying to say that like I value to some degree, the well-being of other beings, not human beings, other types of beings, I value them more simply because they, they in my mind, they, they've earned, like they've kind of earned that. And someone will say, well, that sounds crazy. Well, if you think that's crazy, then you don't know, I'm not gonna curse this rant, but you don't know you don't know jack crap what, I, what I'm really talking about. That's why that's why you would say that because you have no clue what I'm, what I'm saying. Um, but if you could look at it, you kind of have to look at it like this. Yeah, you, ha you have to look at it like when you look at the world, you you realize you just realize certain things that that is is a hard pill to swallow, but it's the truth. Like you realize, like okay, so you realize how twisted people actually are. Now you know, now obviously there are probably maybe some beings that are bad, you know what I mean? But um, you look at how it's 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 a it's a disproportionate amount of bad that comes from us as people, opposed to other beings. Like it's it's way I think I think I don't know this, but I think it's a disproportionate. So so how I look at it is it's not it wouldn't it's not really fair. Like it's not really it, it's it's not fair that you could judge those type of beings like and and then try to judge people the same way. It's totally not fair. You have to judge people 
way harsher, way more harsh, in my opinion. People need to be judged so much more harshly. That's how I look at it. So I look at it like, you know, a, a, a person cannot get the same type of value that maybe something else could. You know what I mean? That's just how I look at it. I could be, maybe I'm wrong. But this is not, like I said, this is not about right or wrong. This is about what I'm doing and what I, how I have to do things to get things done. This is not about right or wrong. <laughs> you know, it's just what I'm trying to say is I have enough conscience to know that, like, this is basically would be you nailing a Jesus to a cross would be you uh, trying in some way to harm or to oppose some of these beings. Like it would be, you'd be, it'd be horrible for you to, to even think of that. It'd be, it'd, it'd be beyond horrible. <laughs> Actually, it's just, it, it, it's not gonna with me. It's not. It's just not gonna happen. Like it's, it can't. It just. It can't. It can't come to that. You know what I mean? It, it just. It just can't. I mean, it would. It, nothing should ever have to come to that. Like I said. In, in my lifetime, I would probably never even see one of these things. Um, but uh, this is just what I had. I have to rant on this because this is a concept that to some people, for, you know, like not a, not a pun intended, it's, a, it's alien to most people. Like, it's like they think, because the truth of the matter is this. The truth of the matter is most people... And this is me from a satanic perspective too. This this is me speaking from me being a satanist. Like this is me, how I look at this whole thing. So, uh, number one, and then I'm, I'm gonna close soon. So, uh, number one, in the media, extraterrestrial of any nature is portrayed as a threat or some type of bad, <laughs> you know, some type of threat or some type of bad thing or beings or being or it's always that per, you know portrayed that way uh which 98 percent of the time i think it's the complete opposite you know it's it's totally not even anything like that um and then i also have to say that like because most people don't believe in these things at all <laughs> it's you know they don't believe in a lot of things it, it's 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 just stupid to them so it's like it's like what so so there's not even a second thought it's like not even a second thought you know what i mean so so there's no uh thoughts in their head like they're thinking like oh well maybe i shouldn't even be thinking this way or maybe i shouldn't even be like um doing this or even maybe i shouldn't even go here or there because like i said like you know you know you you're you're not i wouldn't use the word like worthy but the thing is like you are such in such a corrupted such a uh vile way of yourself that it's an insult it would be like an insult why would you even why would you even go there it's like why would you put yourself why would you try to insert yourself where you clearly are doing no good being there <laughs> does that make sense does that make sense that that's what i'm really trying to say it's like why would you why would you put yourself in a place where you are not welcome because you are not really not worthy actually because you're really not because you're 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 um you're just too you're too negative you have to get to a certain level to be helping a certain cause if that so that's how i look at it so like I said, you know, um, that's just, just part of who I am. That's just part of, uh, flaws of mine that, that I accept because I realize it's a, cho it's like, it's a choice. It's a choice between like, okay, well, do you want to prescribe to thinking this way? Do you want to prescribe to putting this into action? Or do you want to do what feels more familiar and say, no, I think I'm gonna, you know, pull some some uh, trickery, some sly trickery, or I'm gonna do this, that, and the next thing, and then I'm gonna get this that way, and then I'm gonna do this, and, and and then you know I'm just gonna keep doing that because 
I actually really hate these people. You know what I mean? Like that's it's it's messed up, but that's actually the truth. Like it's like I look at people and I'm just like, you know, I was I was thinking about this today and it was so messed up. This is honest my honest thoughts. I was like and this is about women too. I hate to say it, this is actually about women. Like I was like, man, I was like, you know, I I truly do love women, but sometimes I feel like I just want to strangle you because you are, oh, how do I say this? You are not complying with every fucking, <laughs> you, oops, sorry, there goes a curse. I guess maybe this is not going to be for kids. So I think that's, that's out the window. This ain't, can't be for kids anymore. Oh, well. Uh, but I'm thinking in my head, I'm thinking like, look, why, like, like, I'm totally wrong. I, I'm not a, 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 a person that is a, uh, how do I say this? Uh, a rapey dude, if you catch my drift. I am not that dude. But sometimes I seriously look at women and I'm like, you know, like, like I talk to you and, you know, you tell me that you have a, you know, you have a boyfriend or something. You, t you, you tell me, um, that you're engaged or, or you even tell me some really annoying crap. Like you tell me that I'm too young for you or you're too old for me or I'm too old for you or... You know, and it's like, I feel like, the, you know, when I look at women like that, um, I'm, I'm like, I feel like, like, do I have to, like, strangle you or do I have to, do I have to, like, off your entire family or something? Like, what, what, would I, what do I have to do to just make you do <laughs> exactly what I want or what I say? You know, like, I don't like hearing any of that nonsense. No one likes hearing that. But that's just, I'm trying to explain it to explain the mentality of, of why I am the way I am, because I look at things, I'm like, okay, well, look here. I've lived too long to to get a no, okay? So I don't, I don't want to hear any type of no for any type of reason. And then I look at a person, like, for instance, like the boyfriend, the husband, the this, the that. Maybe, that's, that's what standing she even is interested, right? But, but, I, but and this is real, this is real crap, but no one's probably going to ever tell you this, but I'm going to tell you this because I'm not hiding things so i look at it like do i have to kill this person like what do i what do what 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 do i have to do to get rid of this person like if do i have to what do i have to do to make you simply obey what i'm saying like or what i'm asking for or or, or, or i look at it like this if i could snap my fingers and make you a mindless slave i would be married right now and my wife would be a mindless slave living as a normal person but not knowing the reason why she made the decision to even go on the first date with me is because i snapped my fingers if that makes sense you know what i mean because technically you could say oh well doesn't that mean technically that um isn't that almost like some 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 rapey crap like uh no at that point i don't even care what's that what, what's going on at that point it's it, it, it's it's like i said if i could turn people into slaves i would have a lot of slaves um it, so, so you get what I'm what I'm trying to say is I'm trying to tell you the morality that I really am. Like the morality is not there. The morality has never been there. It's it's not there. Uh, I may act a lot nicer than I am sometimes to fit in, or to to make people feel a little bit more comfortable around me. But I am an evil person. So that do, do, do you get what I'm really saying? What I'm saying is I feel like I'm saying like. Do I like? Cause if I, cause if I had to do some something crazy and I could to make you obey, then I would. But I, but not in not in that type of way. Like it's like it couldn't be forced. If, if that makes sense, you know what I mean. Like it couldn't be. It couldn't be like I, like you know what's going on. And you're like start holding back tears, and then you're just like, you know, like 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 a like a friggin' um. What do you, what do they call it? Like a terror situation. Like it's like, the, you know, you, no, because then that's, that's, that's just too much. You know what I mean? But I'm not that bad of a person. But what I'm saying is you get my point. My point is I do not care about people enough to watch them disappear or to watch them, <laughs> whatever happens to them that may have to happen so that I can get certain things how I want it. And that's in, you know, and be happy, you know? I always use the analogy, like, for instance, when you meet a girl and you're with a girl, you have to realize that she was not a virgin. She is not. She is not a virgin 
she had a boyfriend, she had something, but now you're that guy. So that means someone had to leave. So you got to understand, like, it's like, that's how things work. You know, it's like, for instance, like, people die and in, in leave properties and then new people move in them. So I look at it kind of like that. You know what I mean? That's just how I look at it. Like, I, I look at it like, okay, yeah, you could say, uh, because, because I don't care, that, that makes it so bad. But does it really? That's the question I have to ask. Like, does it really make it that bad? Or, or is that just your, your perception on it? You know, so I look at it like that. Like it's a per- it's it's perception. So when I say that all to I say that all to say that from a satanic my per- me not not I'm not speaking for all satanists. I'm speaking for my personal self. My, my satanic view, just how I look at it. I look at it like. Yes, I know my faults. Yes, I know how bad I am. Yes, I know all of that. Okay, I know all of that. But I also have lines that I will never, that I'm not going to cross. <laughs> like, it's pretty much like, uh, I'm not crossing certain lines. You know what I mean? Uh, it's, 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 I, it, I should never, it should never, ha- like, like, like I said, those beings, it, I would never, I would never, like, I mean, I, I may want someday to uh, to make contact with something like that because it's something that, uh, like, well, how would you not want to meet something, someone like that? I mean, or something like that. Like, how would you not? So, but it's not most likely ever going to happen. Like, you are probably not in your lifetime going to actually encounter one of those. It's just that simple. So, with all that being said, um... You viewers have to understand this is where I'm coming from. Like, this is my perspective, okay? This is just my perspective. That's what you're getting into when you're on this channel. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know, it's like the cat's out the bag. So it's like, if you're, if you're on this channel, just know that I'm really not a normal person, for one. And then number two, that I'm really not a good person, actually. Like, it's really not, you know, so... Let that really sink in. Like, maybe if you have to rewind it a couple times and really, really, really let it sink in. So you know that, you know that this is what this is. So, in those of you out there that are certain people, like, you know what this is. So you have to understand what this really is. Okay, so it's not like I'm, like, hiding this from you. You know what you're getting into, right? And this is a different, like, like I said, Satanism. This is a different type of Satanism. Like my my Satanism is a different type of Satanism, man. Like, uh, it's just it's just different. You know what I mean? Um, because I'm a different individual, so it's just a different type of Satanism. I mean, it it can be scary for some people. You know, I'm pretty sure some people find that pretty scary. But it is what it is, and it's not going to change. It, it, it's not. Like I said, I'll, there are certain things that as I grow, as I acquire certain things, certain things will be tweaked. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I am in a relationship and I do have a good, stable, strong girlfriend that I know, you know, is going to be a wife... I can't, there's certain, like, you know, there's certain things I don't need to do. Like I said, I don't need to be doing some underhanded certain things. Because at that point, I already have what I've been trying to get. Like, it's like, so I don't have to do, I'm, I'm, I'm there. I don't have to, like, you know, I don't have to do e certain, e very evil, demonic thing to, to, to be there. Because I'm in that position, you know. There's certain things I don't have to do. There may be things I may have to do, but then at that point, those will only be things I may have to do. I spoke about this before on the rant. I'm, there only may be, may, be, may be things I have to do to, how do I say this? Um, to more or less seal certain deals, if you will. You know what I'm saying? Or, or, or even maybe certain packs or something. Like, I may have to do certain things because 
it's not only something that you know I'm I'm oh that I'm owed to certain persons, but it's also that I realize that there is a, a afterlife, so I have to secure certain things, so I have to keep doing certain like this. It's a life it's a lifetime thing. It's not like oh you know you 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 do this you do that you do a couple rituals you know you do this spell you do that you you um you you work with this demon you work with that demon and do that and then you know then you just stop when you have what you want it, if not not it doesn't work like that bro. it does not work like that no, nothing's gonna work like that because really at the end of the day it's also about loyalty right it's about loyalty so. It can't be anyone else. Do, it can't be anyone else's burden. It's it's my burden, right? <laughs> and it, it it and like I said, with me, it's it's like life or death. Like this is something that like any given day, if I had to actually leave this world because of that loyalty, it is what it is. And there's no there's no um how do I say this? Like I said, it's owed to them. It's owed to them that I do just that. And there's no... Like I said, that's another line I'm not crossing. At that point, I, I'm doing what I have to do. There's, there's no claim. Someone could say, Oh, so what are you doing? You? Look, so you, those of you out there that are Christians, right? If you believe so strongly in your Christian beliefs, you know what I'm talking about, then, right? You, you, you know that it's not a game. So you know what you believe in is what it is. And if you have to do certain things, you're going to do them. There's no, there's no, <laughs> there's no uh, if, ands, or buts. You're just gonna do. Them. So that's what this channel is. Okay, this that, now obviously this ch this channel is like the is the the fun, uh, the the talking, the dialogue, the the uh, the conversation on topics. Uh, you know the, the 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 showing of ideas for recreational things. You know the the, the the talk, the conversation on recreational things. That's actually what the channel really is. But I'm just saying, as a personal uh, person in my beliefs, that's that's what you're dealing with. Okay, that that's what this is. That's what this is. So this is this is like uh, how do I say? It? The, the, the spiritual aspect that's serious like the stuff that I don't play you can't you can't play around with this I don't play around with this stuff I don't play around with it um, because like I said before you, you, you don't play around with things that you believe in okay and then also you don't play games when you choose to do things because no one's forcing me to do anything you know it's not I'm not at that point yet even where you know I'm being forced to do anything, okay? So I'm just scratching the surface, you know? So, uh, that has to be said, okay? So, from my perspective, that's my opinion on this thing. That's my opinion on the whole disclosure thing. Someone may say, oh, why do you not, you know, get more involved with it? Like, why do you not try to reach out to some of these people? I just, I, I told you why, because in the honest truth, I'm so bad of a person that, like, it, it's, it's pointless. It's the, the most I can do, like I said, I can share some of those videos, I can explain certain things, I can do rants here and there about it, but I can't at this current time really get, you know, it, 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 it just doesn't, um, like I said, it, it, it's, it's a, if, if possible, it's not the time yet. Not even. So, that's the rant, uh, like I said, if I can maybe find the file, um, I'll, I'll put the, the pictures that I drew up on the screen and, and all that, um, if I, I don't know if I can find it, I actually forgot what I labeled the file, so, if it doesn't pop up in the video, then I'm sorry, it doesn't pop up, and I'll have to do a whole other video just to show that picture. Just to show the drawing in the album. So, this is your host, Steve from the back. Again, um, you know, 
like, comment, sub, hit the bell icon, and uh, have a nice day.